great thing about ornithology is that the, a citizen scientist can contribute so much just by going out and looking. You know, I can, I've contributed to ornithological knowledge just with my rehab yeah, work. Like, yeah, sure. uh, I have the longevity record for Orchard Oriole and Savannah Sparrow. They each reach 17 and a half years of age in my care, which oh, is like, oh my who knew, right? Wow. You know, so we can, we, but, but, you know, not, you don't even have to be a rehabber. You can just go out and, and make a good study of something, you know, and, uh, and find out things and observe things that have never been seen before. Now, you probably do a lot of of lectures, mm. whether it's at museums. Do you go to schools at all? And talk I've done a little students? bit of school work. I find it um, a little exhausting because I'm usually asked to do three or four assemblies in a row. <laughs> it's like, who can do that? Uh, you know, if, if you're used to doing that, yeah. that's great. Um, but if you're not used to it and your voice gives out on you, it's a little difficult for me. So I tend to do um, nature festivals. I do banquet talks. I often sound of people cutting chicken, you know, as I mean, <laughs> <laughs> or, or passing the cheesecake, you know, <laughs> clink of spoon on cup. Yeah, right, right. Um, I do a lot of that, and so I've spoken at many, many festivals around the country, and that's great, because like, I just said yes to a play, to one out in Oregon, Pacific Northwest, because it's amazing, and you know, I'm going to have to take a train to the festival site, wow. so I'm into oh, it. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. Cool. I like it.